Liam, second trip to the North East in a week, it's never an easy place to come, but four goals scored, how pleased are you with that performance and result? Yeah, in normal circumstances you'd say 3-0 or half time game's over, but actually wasn't. You know, to be fair to Lee's gambled and put two up front and had the ones floating in behind, pushed the full back side off. And for 15-20 minutes they pulled the goal back and, and asked a few questions. Uh, we got a nice goal off a set piece, which is really, you know, especially awake moments important. Uh, and then we sort of like killed the game off. Uh, I thought some of the football we played in the first half was very, very good, especially down the right. The goals, great goals, absolutely really well worked team goals. Uh, you know, had to make a change, which is a shame because I thought Marcus was, was going to get sent off. He'd been booked. Uh, there was a couple of little incidents, and I think one more tackle out of place. I didn't want to make the change, but I felt I had to. Um, he come off, Ra went on. Uh, no, but we lost the shape a little bit. Uh, but then Charlie Oliver come back on and got us the shape back. Uh, I thought he was very impressive when he came on. Uh, really good work ethic throughout the team, especially on the back of a tough week if you take into account the pitch was heavy on Tuesday night. Trip to the northeast last week to a heavy pitch, and then back up here again tonight, so we couldn't have asked more of the lads, so uh, you know, got ourselves in a position now, we we'll keep on saying, we get nine more wins, that should be us in the playoffs, so what's that, halfway through this, the campaign, I think, what did we say, 35, we could get anywhere near 35, so we're on 37, so we're just we're over where we, we set out our half, the halfway point, so you know, it would be nice if we can get nine wins and get them as quickly as possible and then see where it takes us. You mentioned about the quality of the goals. If you look back over the past few weeks, there have been some really good uh, team goals, well worked goals. Is that a sign of the confidence, do you think, in the team? Is that a sign of how the team's evolving? I actually think we've got good players. Uh, I don't look at anyone and say, technically, isn't good on the ball. You know, you, you look at the goal, the ball's ends put in for the first. You know, that's top draw, and then the, the bit of play for the third. You know, everyone knows David Morgan is as influential as any player in this league. You know, he's got the second, he's made the third. Um, but, but, you know, we've had some teams who've actually man marked him. And I actually don't mind when he's man marked. I said because it actually frees Devan and Brad up, which happened the other day. And once, once them two, as, as much as you man mark people, you know, you can't stop them running into the box. So then. You know, you want to stop him getting on the ball, that's fine. Let the others get on it and then most can find his way into the box and get a goal. So, yeah, I'm pleased. Brad and Jack among the goals today and they've been on the score sheet um, quite a few times in the past couple of weeks. Uh, two players are always putting a real shift and it's good to see them rewarded with a couple of goals lately, isn't it? Well, I think both of them got a, a like an unfair bit of criticism earlier on in the season that they weren't doing this, they weren't doing that. But you've got to remember, Samo has actually played through a lot of the season with shingles. Shingles zaps you, so to actually do that, you know, and come through, and he wasn't scoring. I said, but when he doesn't, when he's not on the team, we're nowhere near as effective. I said, we're scoring now. Brad again, he had a long spell before he got a goal. He got a little tap in against someone the other week, didn't he? And then, and then got on a run the head against Cole. Uh, scored a great strike the other day. So, you know, as I said, the, the two big, big players, and that's why I stayed loyal to them. And you know, people were saying. You know, let leave them out, put them whatever. I said, as long as they work hard and they, and they give us what they get, they, yeah, I'm not leaving them out. Seven wins out of the last nine league games, I think, up to third in the table. And I think we're at the halfway stage of the season now. If you look back over the first half of the season and approaching the busy Christmas period, um, how would you assess the state of play at the moment? Uh, I actually think we, we had a good start. Obviously, the, you know, the sale of Dion did set us back. Um, set us back in terms of how we, we set out to play because we worked all pre-season in, in you know let's face it he's gone into league one has got has already got eight goals so for us to have a technically speaking a league one striker in our in our ranks you know you've got to utilize it uh, and i said he moves on after two games so we've had to change the shape of the team uh, a little bit of change in personnel uh, there's more to come there's more to come from connor woods there's more to come from charlie oliver there's more to regan's Got to be back at it imminently. Uh, I said you never get anything other than 100% off Raoul. Um, so yeah, we're, in, we're in a good place, in a good place. So we just need to keep on working extremely hard and doing the right things and grinding out. And we can grind out these nine wins and see where we are. Uh, Brad left the pitch with a knock, how's he? He's just uh, 
dead leg, but he, you know, to be honest, that was from Tuesday night. Uh, he wanted to play, which is, says a lot. Uh, but then he, he's gone challenged for a head and got it right on the same spot. But he'll be fine for Boxing Day. As we mentioned, up to third, and it sets up the two Chester games, and obviously the Alter game in the middle sets them up nicely, doesn't it? Well, it's like anything, you know. I, I, if we beat Chester, we get three points. If we beat Blythe, we get three points. If we lose to Chester, we get, you know, remain. So every game, it, they're only worth the same. It doesn't matter who you play. You do know you're going to have different, or difficult types of games against different, different teams. You know, but you look at the ones above us. You go Kings Lynn, uh, York, Chester, Brackley, Spennymoor, Boston. I think they're the ones everyone would expect to be where they are. So, you know, you'll never, we'll never get any easy games off them, but we're just going to make sure they don't get an easy game with us, neither. And just finally a word on the fans, two long trips in two weeks, especially at this time of year. Good to see them here today in good voice and good number. Unbelievable. As I said, as I said the other night, you know, they've been great, they've been a credit to us, credit to the club. Uh, really appreciate it because we do need it. And uh, especially when you, you're going into the latter stages and, and you're having a, a few tired legs out there, it does go a long way. And I you know, just hope everyone has a, a lovely Christmas and turns up on Boxing Day, gets behind us, and we can get, try and get three points. Well done today. Thank you.